is gorgeous outside right now. It is 63 degrees in Connecticut in January. Let's make a video. Goals set up for success. We're starting right now. As human beings, it is so important that we have big dreams, but it is imperative that we take action on those dreams to make sure that those dreams become a reality. Now let's find out some ways to set up our goals for success. Follow me. So as we all know, you can find anything on Google. Now let's look up goal setting. All right, so one of the number one ways for setting goals is setting SMART goals, standing for specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and timeline. So keep in mind that every word that goes into the acronym SMART goes together. Our goals should be specific enough that we can envision ourselves actually achieving them. Our goals should also be measurable so that we can, so that we know when we are moving forward, when we are going towards the finish line. In this case, our goals make your dreams attainable. Don't get me wrong, it's important to have big dreams. I'm saying that we should make attainable, achievable goals that will get us to the point where we can make our dreams reality. Be real with yourself here. These are your goals. Make your goals realistic for yourself because a realistic goal for you might be an unrealistic one for someone else. Set a timetable for yourself because then you'll find yourself working harder than you would have ever thought. You see, if you're challenging yourself and pushing yourself to achieve your goals, there's no stopping you to succeed. All right, so let's say your goal is to get better grades in 2020. I say this because I teach and I know that a lot of kids have this goal for themselves. So now let's use the SMART technique to make it a little more powerful, all right? So you should set that goal up saying, I will have better grades on my next report card on March 8th, 2020. You see how that just sounds more concrete and powerful and more concise. Pull up, don't leave. I got another way for you to set up goals. So let's find out. I learned this next method when I was in college. Creating action steps for our goals are a great way to ensure that we achieve them because we are planning them out. We are planning out how we will act on them. All right, so let's use the previous example of getting better grades. Well, using action steps we're going to plan out how we're going to get better grades. Let's say by talking to teachers to make sure that we are on track to succeed or that we make making sure that we understand what is being taught. We have to hold ourselves accountable for our goals. We can't make dumb excuses as to why we aren't achieving our own goals. We have to attack our goals like our lives depend on it. You see, if we quit just one time, it will become a habit. We can never quit, never quit. The key to life is to truly live it. Now check out five ways on how you can live life to the fullest. The link will be above me and never forget. You are awesome. Oh, 
you're still here. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for watching my YouTube videos. I'm really glad you like them. Now, please support my YouTube channel so I can keep making these awesome videos for you guys. And you can do that by going to my store on ILiveLifeL.com. Thanks, guys. Bye.